I need to talk to you. What are you doing here? Did you really make a trip to SmackDown to insult me? Listen, I know we haven't had the best rapport in the past. Because you're constantly mean to me. Well, <laughs> after that Survivor Series debacle, I had no reason not to dismiss you. But even I have to admit that by now you've proven yourself to be more than just Justine's little niece. I'm impressed. You're starting to remind me of one of the all-time greats. <laughs> me. Really? Okay, thanks. You're someone I've watched and frankly looked up to for a long time, so I actually do appreciate the compliment, assuming you're being honest. Right, because I'm the type who hands out compliments just for the hell of it. I think we should discuss an alliance. Sometimes you need people in your corner. That's even more true for you now that your aunt has mm, other interests. What's your ulterior motive here? I doubt you're trying to help me out of the goodness of your heart. <laughs> the goodness of my heart? Of course not. My motive is winning. I've tried to put factions together in the past, like the Four Queens, but they always fell apart. But that's because something was missing. Compassion? Maybe, but mostly another legacy wrestler who's at my level. I need someone to stand with, not carry. And with our family histories, we actually have more common ground than I may have initially admitted. In case you've forgotten, I've already got a tag partner. If you think I'm going to cast her aside... I don't. I'm not trying to break you and Ava apart, just build something better. Maybe eventually even form a Three Queens. And with my help, you and Ava can get your tag titles back. Come on, what have you got to lose? Probably a lot, but I guess there's only one way to find out for sure. Why not? Excellent. And because you're still a little skeptical, we can take oh. How about I manage you and Ava to victory in your next match? Sound good? Yeah, let's give it a try. Look who's here! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Charlotte Flair, the Superstar, and Ava Moreno. The feeling, the electricity in the arena. A young lady who loves to fight, Cora Jade. But does she actually like skate? Hey guys, you ready for some? Tonight we're getting the tag match we expected with an added wrinkle. Charlotte Flair joining one corner as a manager. I'm not sure why it's happening, but it's a huge boost to a couple of relatively newer superstars. You can't deny the confidence that comes from having a main eventer like Charlotte behind you. Or the effect on your opponents. They already seem off their game. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Monster set up in the corner. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. Set up for the side Russian leg sweep. Tag is made. Close line. Oh, across the top rope. Whoa. 
Up handle applied. Boom! Oh, and a gut buster. Look out! Moreno to the top. And Dana Brooke is all fired up. Oh, man, check out this power. Gorilla press slam. That offense really hitting her hard. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Into the corner. This can't be good. Oh, clothesline. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. High risk. Look out below. Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. She gets it. Oh. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Cora gets waylaid. Big clothesline. Ah, uh, setting them up for a fisherman's buster. Cover. Two count digging down deep and staying alive. She just kicked oh, oh, out. Wait a second. Referee, are you sure? Are you sure that's two? Oh my God, that's got to hurt. Love it fancy here. Backbreaker. Backbreaker. And she still fails to extend any resistance here. Core is getting knocked back at every turn. From out of nowhere. My God. Oh, nice Buster. The power of a deadlift into a military press. Wow. Walking Incredible. around the ring. Slam. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. Watch this display of power. It'll sit out powerbomb. Thunderous impact. Two. Finally over. And come on now. Distasteful offense we've just witnessed. Here are your winners. The Superstar and Ava Moreno. Tag team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. Maybe a little hyperbolic, but these two... Per Congratulations. That was an impressive win. I'm glad I got a front row seat. Thanks. Honestly, I don't know what was going on, but that almost seemed too easy. Perhaps that's just the effect of having me in your corner. Or maybe it's the effect of someone messing with their travel schedules to give them three layovers so they showed up late and exhausted. You messed with their travel? Wow, you're a quick one. If you want a chance to reclaim your championships, you need to make a strong showing in the ring. Seriously? Why did you do that? Charlotte, Ava and I want our titles back, but if we don't win them fair and square, it won't count as much. Relax. This kind of thing happens all the time. You don't need to worry yourself with it. Just focus on winning. See? This is why you need me in your corner. It's also why I worried about having you in my corner. You make everything way too complicated. Okay, fine, my bad. If you don't want me using sneaky tactics and want to get your wins the boring way, I can respect that. So we're on the same page now? Absolutely.
Carmella looks primed for this matchup. Wait, what the hell? She's being taken out by Charlotte Flair. She's absolutely wailing on her. Someone needs to stop this. Get some help out here. How are they letting this continue? Finally, it's about time. Thankfully, Charlotte's being restrained. Shockingly, it seems as if this match will go on as planned. As this match gets underway, Charlotte Flair's pre-match attack on Carmella has left its mark. How are they even letting this match continue? Carmella needs to be tended to, not left out there in an impaired state. This is a failure at every level of WWE. Any victory will definitely be tainted, Corey. That's for sure. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. All the momentum swinging away from Carmella. Mel is being systematically worked on. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Uh-oh. Ooh, she just turned it around. DDT. Fight. Telling her opponent that she has even more left in her tank. She heads into the ring. Um, Uh-oh. Oh, and that buys some time. Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, she did. From behind. On oh, a German suplex. That's got to be it. And a strong kick out in one. Kicking out now sends a very clear message. What a suplex. Oh, impact to the stomach. Uh, drop toe hold, face first. Oh, that'll fillet your chest. How's that for a counter? Bang it back with their own counter. Oh, Sit down, jawbreaker! You can pick up your teeth in the third row. Mounting a downed opponent, look at them go over and over and over again. And a slap to scratching and clawing. This could be it. And she thwarts the pin attempt in one. I'm happy she did. I don't want this match to end. Ripping and tearing at the face of her opponent. Face gouge. Oh, God. Of sequence of maneuver. Carmella with a super kick. Will Mella put her away? Makes the cover. Three, no, a two count. What is it going to take to keep her down? The answer might be more than her opponent can offer. And a befuddled look comes across the face of Carmella. She doesn't understand what. Not enough. Super kick. Carmella's in crisis. Carmella is walking above the deep waters, rising above the mess, still holding this match in her hand. High risk. Elbow drop from the top. Cover. There's two. Oh, and a kick out. How in the world? Somebody 
really pinched me. I, I gotta be dreaming. There's no way she's still in this match. Standing drop kick. It up. Climbing the turnbuckle now. Perched up top. Good lord. Taking flight. And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. Tossed back into the ring. Knee strike. Scary pattern starting to form as that upper area takes more damage. Trying to target the back of the neck here. And Mella now finding herself on the wrong side of momentum. Carmella's got to slow down this assault. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. And here we go. A town down. Huge turning point right here. Two. Love seeing her get the win. And it was a big match for her. The action we just witnessed was really something else. This is one I won't forget for a long time. Nice win. Sorry I couldn't be out there to see it, but security wouldn't let me come back in the arena. What the hell was that, Charlotte? I thought we talked about this. Talked about what? You attacked Carmella after you promised me you weren't going to do anything underhanded. I promised you I wouldn't do anything sneaky. I didn't. I attacked Carmella out in the open in front of the whole WWE universe. You've now tainted two victories that I didn't need your help with. Stop. Tainted? Come on. This is how the game is played. This is what it takes to succeed. Are you really that naive? That would explain why even your aunt didn't want to manage you. Why do you assume it was her choice? It's no wonder your groups never work out. It's my fault for giving you the benefit of the doubt. I should have known that you'd ruin any chance to legitimately team up. And it's my fault for overestimating you in the first place. For all your goody two-shoes talk, I'm not sure you could have won those matches without my assistance. So let's cut to the chase. We can go back and forth blaming each other all day, or we can get in the ring. Honestly, we should have just fought each other when you first showed up to SmackDown. That was always where this was heading. Would have saved us the trouble of this charade of a partnership. If you think you can beat me, then you're even more naive than I thought. I guess there's only one way to find out. No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. We are about to bear witness to the queen. Listen, here is a truly generational talent. There's no doubt about that. Just as we've seen many times before, Charlotte Flair's attempt to build an alliance has ended with her squaring off against her former comrade. With Charlotte, it's a very thin line between mentee and enemy. And it seems as if Charlotte felt there wasn't room for another legacy superstar in the women's division. Can you blame her? She's earned the right to sit on that throne and is not ready to give it up. Boom! Oh, oh. Ouch. And the knee. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights out. 
Oh, yeah, she's saying, let's go, bring it. Neck breaker excellently executed. Lock it in, the dragon sleeper. Man, she's got a lot of heart and a lot of guts, but I don't... Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Ooh, elbow strike. And a clothesline. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Queen changes the direction of that one. Uh-oh. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Look at this. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way down for a European arm breaker. Suplex. An overbearing assault on Charlotte now. The Queen's perseverance being tested here. Evades the attack. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's time to go to school. Woo! Straining those muscles. The Guys, I cannot figure out how she's going to break this hold. Oh, but she reverses the pressure. Incredible move. Wow, what a shot. Uh-oh. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Hooked up. Oh, look at the power. Side slam. She's feeling the hurt here. And Flair gets that turn back on her. What grace, float over to the DDT. Slowly getting up, but she won't like what she's met with. Oh, setting them up. Canadian Destroyer. And shoulders are down. There's two. She powers out. Too close for comfort. Could this be it? A town down. Charlotte is in trouble. Two. And a big victory here tonight. Here is your winner, the superstar. The WWE Universe celebrating this match. Way to take Charlotte out. The way you dominated, I'd almost think you messed with her flight schedule before the match. Very funny. Nope, fair and square. Is this going to turn into an I told you so conversation? No, I'm gonna wait to bring that up whenever I inevitably have a lapse in judgment and need a get out of jail free card. You know, I still can't figure out why Charlotte approached me in the first place. What was she hoping to get out of this? You want to know what I really think? Sure. I think maybe she really wanted to work with you. Because I'm Justine's niece and she wanted to take advantage of that clout? No, because you're you and she wanted to take advantage of that clout, LJ. You're really becoming someone around here. I know you've spent a lot of time worrying about being in your aunt's shadow, but now, don't let that worry stop you from seeing your own light. Wow. That was really nice, Ava. Momentary lapse in judgment. You know, like when you decided to trust Charlotte Flair. <laughs>